what's up, everybody? Um, I'm SM Sith Lord, wearing my custom Hubs avatar here, my Petuli avatar on it. Um, I'm the uh, programmer of Anarchy Arcade, anarchyarcade.com. It's a free desktop thing. Um, our avatars there are real basic. Um, so to be a part of this avatar interop thing, I did a, I created a demo the past week or so. I'm um, talking to Jen about uh, the kind of crypto things that she's trying to do. And that's what I'm gonna come here to show y'all today. Um, I don't have a headset, so if it, at any point you guys have any questions about what I'm talking about, you can throw out one of these raise your hand things. We should see you. Keep my mic as you talk. Um, so let me get to it. The demo is at the link I'm about to drop in the chat right there. You guys can check it out in your uh, a different tab, hopefully, so you can leave here. Um, if it doesn't work right, click refresh, but it should work right. It works on gamepad and keyboard and mouse. Um, so the point of this demo was to see how feasible it would be to take a bunch of different uh, NFT avatars and non-NFT avatar models and uh, implement them in a, an engine. This engine is uh, Play Canvas Engine. And uh, to the easiest pipeline I could think of would be going through Mixamo for rigging the models and animating them. So that's the workflow that we tried to do, me and Jin. Jin would send me some of his uh, NFT avatar models, and um, I would um, try to implement them through Mixbo and, and, and uh, do that kind of workflow. So let me start sharing my screen. Hopefully it's not too big of a frame rate. This, at that, that link that I just gave. I'll make it big in a second. Could you handle that for me? Can face the crowd there? Um, so, I'm running around as this um, me bit right here. And if I stand inside of that screen, uh, it shows me information about what avatar I am. And it shows me the uh, open seal yep. list for the okay. NFT avatar that I am. And um, this is a very prestigious uh, me bit that I am. Let me go over to the uh, avatar wall and turn it into something a little bit less prestigious. Here's Jarek from Jedi Knight ported over. And I stand in there since he's not an NFT, it just shows the wiki page about uh, who Jarek is. Same thing with this um, Super Mario avatar. <laughs> um, this avatar, this Mario avatar is whack too. It's just one that I grabbed from some website and he has his hat sunk into his hair. He has no eyeballs. It's probably the weirdest one. Um, over here, there is a uh, Ready Player Me. Um, if you stand in there, it just takes you to the computer the website. I wasn't particularly listening. And there's some more that you could try out. The, the um, little tubby here is real nice. Um, this one, I don't have the listing, so I can show the page. Okay, so this is all WebGL. It's using Play Canvas Engine. Um, I threw uh, a bunch of textures from GameTextures.com into there. They're like 2K or 4K textures. And... Um, it's supposed to be showcasing the, the avatars there. And for me and Jin, it was to get a feel for what it would be like to send some of these NFT avatars through the pipeline, of this particular pipeline that we have, which I think is amongst the easiest pipeline because it doesn't even involve Blender at all, except for what Jin had to do uh, when something didn't work out right. And I'm gonna go over that right now and kind of talk about what I learned making this thing and then wrap up the presentation here. Um, I'm gonna end my stream soon. So um, if, you, if anybody wants to keep checking out the, uh, the demo, you can go to the link. Um, again, it works on gamepad or keyboard and mouse. Oh, also, when you go close to the doors, um, it asks you if you want to travel, and you press enter to travel, and it takes you to another site. In uh, the M3 case, it takes you to the uh, CryptoVox's website. Go through the other door, it'll take you to my website. Okay, close the screen here. So oh, those were the avatars that worked out. Um, the the me bit and the, um, the 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 tubby. It's not just tubby, right? I've forgotten the name of it, even though I was just implementing it uh, recently. But the, the little the, the tubby tubby cat, yes, <laughs> the tubby tubby cat. So the the tubby cat and the uh, me bit. Those worked uh, super well with the the workflow. I just dropped them into. Um, Mixmo and they rigged up. Um, some of them already had a skeleton 
Uh, it was a little bit weird with the, the tubby cat because it had no fingers, but Mitsubo actually had a setting for rigging something with no fingers. Um, those those worked really well. There was a few inverted normals on the, the tubby cat's ear, but besides that, there was no side effects. Awesome avatar, Nar. I, I assume it's a silent K. K <laughs> okay, um, the ones that didn't work, though, those are perhaps more to learn from those. Um, this one on the left, we'll start with. This one, uh, Jin, can you tell us about this avatar before I talk about the uh, stuff that we ran into? Uh, so yeah, this is uh, Orion, the very first um, avatar from Crypto Avatar. is a platform for one of uh, uh, basically VRM NFTs. Okay, so this was an awesome model. It was nice and low poly. I, I thought it was going to work right, but the problem with this one that we ran into were um, it was T posed instead of A posed. So this is a T posed over here in this picture. The T posed looks like his legs were uh, together instead of spread out like the bottom of an A. Um, and to, to compound that problem, he had really buff thighs. His thighs were almost touching. They were really close to touching. That confused Mixmo's auto rigger. That's something that if you were manually uh, rigging it to a skeleton, you could easily fix, but uh, it confused the auto rigger. And just because of that, it, it made it um, more complex to port. And uh, I ended up dropping that one and moving on to uh, the, the tubby cats. Um, and the other one that did not go well. Oh, by the way, this this thing here is uh, Alien Swarm. This is the player controller that I based the demo off of. It's supposed to be super easy mode where even turning is optional. Even if you don't figure out how to turn, that's okay. You just stand in hot spots. Um, direction, you can sidestep and stuff like that. So I, could, I try to take that action game-like uh, player controller and make something like that in web jail. Um, over here, the last avatar that we tried and failed. This one actually rigged pretty well in Mixamo after some uh, help. By the way, this one needs no introduction. Everybody knows what this one is. Um, it didn't rig well at first. Uh, the skeletons were confused with all the wearables and the FBX and all that. Uh, Jin went over there and reworked the, the uh, export some and uh, did get one that worked in Mixamo. Uh, so maybe if you ported it to Unreal or something after that, it would work fine. However, it did not work in um, the engine I was targeting, Play Canvas. Uh, maybe it was too high poly or something like that. But for whatever reason, it was a fail um, after the, the Mixamo success. Uh, your, your, your mileage may vary, though, because it did go into Mixamo and it was able to export. And, um, yeah, that, that was... Uh, uh, maybe we tried a couple others. These were the noteworthy things there. So if you're making NFT avatar downloads of avatars, please make them so they're auto rig friendly and try uploading your avatars to Mixable yourself to see how the rigging process is because some of these you didn't even need to um, do the manual rigging process when you click on its, its joints. Um, it just already knew what skeleton was. So if you're making an NFT avatar that does that, even better makes it a lot easier for me to implement it into games and demos and stuff like that. Uh, speaking of games and demos, if anybody needs a game or demo of their avatar or something, uh, hit me up or hit up Jen. Get, talk to us somehow, and um, we can see if we can work something out to build you a demo similar to the one that I'll put into the link, uh, the link to the chat one more. Um, that is my presentation for show and tell day here. Um, are there any questions that anybody has about any step of this? Yeah, that would be wonderful. We could oh, lock can up. Can you also the repeat the question? I forgot to record that. Oh, yes. Okay. So, um, Jin asked the question of if we could bring something up with uh, the boxes. Oh, 
CryptoVoxel's avatar, where you turn it in CryptoVoxel's avatar, and then you walk through that loading door, and when you get to CryptoVoxel's, you are the avatar that you were. We should do that. We should definitely do that. You can send me the avatar. I'll bring it up in the demo. We'll be mocking up the functionality of where we want to get, where when you go from one to the other, it actually passes that, passes that identity of what avatar you are to the other app. Uh, but we can make it look like it's working just by changing that avatar and then walking the crypto boxes. And that sounds like an awesome idea. And then, uh, I had a quick question. Um, what was the avatar platform built in? I'm sorry, you were a little muffled. Can you say that one more time? Yeah, what, um, if you guys can hear me, I'll type it out. But what is the avatar, the link that you provided, the avatar demo? Is that Unity? No, that is uh, Play Canvas. It's a, Okay, Play Canvas. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, it's like a mashup of a few of their um, tutorials. If you go to the documentation thing, they have a third-person controller, they have an iframe uh, in the world, that kind of stuff. So, Beautiful, imagine. thank you. All right, if there are no more questions, thanks everybody for uh, listening to me. Once again, I'm SM Sith Lord, and you can check me out on my Twitch. Of twitch.tv slash anarchy arcade i'm not live right now but often i am i'm going to go ahead and uh, clean up my slides here as we get ready for the next presenter thank you